I'm going to leave the floor to Nicolas Berger, who is one of the members of IFCU staff. And um, we will uh, present to you the collaborative platform that has been created one year ago, I think, now, and that uh, Andres has uh, already mentioned. So I, I, I give you the floor, Nicolas. Thank you. Thank you, Francois. Thank you all to be, to be here with us to share this moment, online moment. Hi. Uh, regarding uh, internationalization uh, and uh, to close this first day I would like to make uh, a short presentation of uh, the Q uh, platform the world of Catholic University platform uh, it's um, now it has been more than one year that we have worked uh, on the, this uh, project with my colleague uh, Loïc Roche in order to develop uh, innovative online uh, tool so first of all, I would like to uh, to check if you can see my screen. Can you can you see it? Yes. Can you see the, the first slide? Slide. Yes. Yes. Good. Thank you. So uh, this uh, is QCloud platform. Uh, it's almost one year of work. Uh, in order to develop this um, innovative tool, uh, digital tool. It's, it's the first time that an, an organization which is working with the university has developed uh, such uh, instruments, uh, online instruments, because uh, it, we start from, the, from, the, from this question, how many Catholic universities there is uh, in the world, uh, including IFCU members. And uh, in fact, nobody uh, could respond to, to this question uh, in Rome also they, they don't know the congregation tried some years ago to work on on the, on the listing of institution but uh, no one was able to uh, uh, to have the answer and uh, to bring uh, this institution and the data regarding this institution uh, inside a, a kind of database so what is this platform? Uh, so it has been developed by IFQ team. It's, it's a virtual space uh, which aims to, to improve visibility of our institution and to facilitate, you know, uh, partnership building between institution. Uh, it's only tool because there is no one uh, so developed as uh, the platform. Uh, it's not a static uh, tool, it's an evolutive tool. It means that the version that you can have access now uh, is not the last. Uh, every year we will update uh, the possibilities and the option on this platform and the possibilities are uh, almost unlimited. So the platform is available in three languages, Spanish, French and English, which are the, the three language, working language of the Federation. And uh, it's offer a multitude of possibilities uh, to, its, to its users. So you as member, but also other kind of uh, university uh, who would like to join IFQ or to have access uh, to this platform. So first of all, it's, a, it's two tools in one tool. Uh, one of the most important aspects, it's, it's a global database on, the, on Catholic University uh, with updates uh, information. You will see, I will show you the, the platform. We will go on the, on the website. And you will see that all the each uh, if you member has the own form uh, with the description of the institution, with also uh, qualitative and quantitative information regarding, for example, the number of students, uh, the academic offer, the number of faculties, uh, the area of collaboration, and also uh, what kind of uh, network the university is part of. So it's also a collaborative space that allow that can allow your university from the database to submit and share a collaboration request. For example, uh, you are an in institution in, um, in Latin America and you are looking for a partner in, uh, um, in, uh, in 
Oceania or in Africa. So uh, you can uh, post a collaborative request regarding student or professor mobility or creation of a consortium. For example, if you, would, if you want uh, to reply to a call for projects uh, from the, um, from, um, I don't know, the World Bank or uh, UNESCO or um, uh, institution who give uh, financial support to projects, you can uh, launch a call through the platform looking for partner in order to create a consortium and to build your project and reply to the call for, for project. Uh, you can also use the platform to uh, establish um, double degrees. So the possibility are, 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 um, are numerous. So you can develop partnership with other university, but also with company uh, or with foundation. In fact, we are actually in discussion with foundation who, which are interested to work with uh, higher education institution and the platform can be uh, for them, for this foundation, uh, a way to identify potential partners, but also to promote, to um, also uh, make known the annual call for project about uh, higher education. So uh, you can also have an access to the last news, the last trends in the field of Catholic higher education. For example, if a university organize uh, a big conference, an important conference, or would like to uh, also post, you know, some information regarding a research project, you can have access also to information, but in the same time, you can use the platform uh, to make more visible some research activity of your institution, some new partnerships that you would like to share uh, with um, the different members on the global stage. So it's also a tool for uh, information with a database, you know, what kind of universities there is uh, in my country or in my geographical uh, area. Uh, it's also uh, a tool for collaboration. You can post uh, collaboration request and you can also have access and submit uh, news, uh, information, key information that you would like to share and make known to other universities which can be also interested by, by, the, you know, by your university activity. So the idea is to uh, reinforce interaction amongst uh, our members and more. So, uh, so with this project, uh, if you would like to respond, as I said, the lack of uh, reference data on the Catholic University in the world. Uh, there is no book, there is no annual book, there is no other website where you can find so much information regarding uh, our, institu our institution. Uh, during months, uh, we have worked on the platform, on the technical aspect, but also uh, we have uh, filled up uh, the, um, the platform with all the information we have already regarding uh, our members. So. As you will see, if you check uh, on the on the on the platform website, you will for sure find the form, the presentation of your institution. It's for sure incomplete uh, because we don't have uh, all the information regarding all the all members. But you will have the possibility to update the information and to add more uh, information. In a way, you can personalize the form, the description form uh, page. I will say it's more page. Uh, about your uh, institution. For example, you can have a descriptive, descriptive text. You can have, uh, you can mention the number of students that you have, the number of faculties, uh, the area of research, but also you can, um, uh, you can add some content like pictures, like uh, video uh, to make your uh, page more uh, update and more uh, lively. So, this project also tried to respond to, 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 act, to give access to a large number of updates and reliable data and information on Catholic University, such as the number of students, as I said, the training offer and the activity as well as the news, but also to get in touch with them. Because when you are on, the, on, the, on one university page, uh, you can for sure uh, consult the information, but you also can contact directly the, uh, uh, the university 
by, uh, by email. It's very simple. You have um, an icon on the right side of, of uh, the university page, and you can click and ask a question and get in touch with this university. So the, the, the main aim is also to improve the visibility of the university to facilitate the building of efficient collaboration and partnership between institutions with a regional or continental or a global dim dimension. So who can use uh, the platform? So I would say everybody in the, in the university almost it can be professor, uh, but uh, because uh, the, the forum is about internationalization for sure, uh, we prefer that the main users, the main users of the, the platform uh, of your university account could be the vice rector for international relations, the director of the international relation or the, response, the project manager, the responsible, the head of international marketing or development, the person who in fact uh, knows the university and also try to promote outside uh, the, the activity of the university, the, the brand of the university. So it will be, uh, I think, uh, better if um, the person who creates uh, the user account in, on the platform can be one of this person or all this person together. You can, I mean, uh, in some universities, uh, international department, it's more than a dozen of people. So all these people can have access to uh, this uh, website uh, with, with any problem. So uh, why you can use uh, this as platform? Uh, it's also to open a peer-to-peer -peer network in which everyone can participate, to have an exchange a space to exchange freely between professional of internationalization, develop your network of uh, partner institution, to, uh, uh, I will say, an agreement of uh, student and professor mobility, to a research agreement, uh, to uh, the creation of a consortium, um, and more. So uh, the possibilities are really uh, unlimited. You can share news, events, projects, uh, discover also the experience of other institutions, uh, and increase the visibility and uh, the, the representativeness of your institution. Because uh, the idea is because alone you can go faster, but together we go further for sure. So how does the platform uh, works? So it's very simple. Uh, you can create your own, uh, your personal user account. So for that, it's very really, it's really simple. You go directly to the page of, uh, of the platform, you click on register and you just have to follow you know, the, the indication. You just fill, fill in the request information and validate it. And after, uh, after some hours, you will, uh, your uh, request will be validated by the EFQ team uh, and you will receive a notification from the moderator saying that uh, your uh, requests have been uh, accepted. Due to uh, time difference, sometimes when we receive a request, we can't validate immediately. We sometimes we uh, we validate it the morning just after. But in any problems you, you you face or if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact us directly by email. So if you want to post a call for collaboration uh, after this uh, this practical element, I will just information. I will just go directly to the, to the website and it will be more clear for you. Same, you go back uh, to, the, to the main uh, website and you click on login and the, the process as, as you will, as you see, it's very, it's very simple. The use is very simple. Uh, everything is available in three languages and uh, the creation of uh, an account or uh, the creation of a call for collaboration is also very, um, very simple. So, for example, also, uh, as you see, you know, on the on this slide, on the right side, you have an example of what uh, look like uh, a university form uh, and form page. So this is the example of the Catholic University of Lyon. So uh, each uh, every uh, university form look like this one, 
So you have the logo, you have the name of the, uh, of the institution, you have a picture, and then you have on all the pages, different kind, different section of information. The first, the first line are dedicated to the, to the history, to the description of, of your university. And then you have some um, uh, quantitative information regarding the date of creation, the number of students, the number of staff, uh, what kind, uh, what are the network you are belong to, if it's a regional one, if it's to IFQ, uh, or others. And then you have another section regarding the academic offer. And uh, then you can uh, update and fill, and fill in, you know, the different, uh, the different uh, sections. So, and uh, the same, if you want to post a new related to your university uh, about an event, about a new collaboration program, you contact directly the IFQ team to share the content, to, to share the content relating to this news on the VCU platform. So for sure, uh, it's uh, better if you have the text, for example, the description of the event you want to promote or uh, the research project that you have already start, et cetera, already, um, already available like that. It can be posted uh, very easily. Uh, it can be a text with a video, with photo, with a download uh, documents. Uh, there is a lot of possibility uh, in order to uh, attract, make more attracting the news you would like to, to post. So yes, that's, uh, that is the, the home page of, uh, the, of the collaborative platform uh, main page. But I, I will go directly to the website and I will show you how it works. It's, it's very simple. So uh, let me see. I don't know if you can see uh, the web page. Can you see it? No, we still see your presentation, Nicola. Okay. So I will close the presentation and share again. Yes. So yes, this is the main page of the of the platform. So. Uh, as you can see, you can choose, you know, the language you want. So now it's in, it's in French, but you can choose English. And uh, here is a, is a, it's uh, the part where you can log, log out or log, log in. So as I was saying, you know, I will show you an example of uh, what our university page look like. So we'll take the example of Lyon. So yes, so here it's in French, but uh, you have the logo here, you have the name of the university. You can have directly access to the website of the university, also to the social, uh, social media where the university is present. The first part is about the description and, uh, and after you have different kind of uh, information. So we can also take another example here, you know, the, in, in fact, the main page is divided in uh, several parts. The first part is the search engine where you can look, you can write the information you are looking for. So you can look, you know, uh, by university, you launch a research by university or by call for collaboration. But also you can, you know, uh, write, type, type, you know, some keywords, the name of the university, or you can write uh, the name of the university and the continent, but you can also make a research with a discipline. For example, you can write down law and uh, Asia or Africa. And then you will have uh, all the university re related to, to the keywords you write down. So it's useful when you, for example, you are looking for a university which have a uh, uh, faculty of law in a specific region or a country. Uh, you will have the result of, of the university who have, for example, which have a uh, faculty of law or department uh, of law. Uh, it's, it's, in, it's, in, it's interesting when you are looking for a partner, for example, you would like to, uh, 
uh, establish a partnership with another university for student mobility regarding uh, law, uh, faculty of law or regarding a research project focused on law, you can use the search engine, uh, you know, to have the to have all the information available on the on the platform. So after that, you have also the news. So for example, if you post, you decide to post the news of your university, it will be visible in this part. And then all the user can, you know, click on the news and have access, you know, to the to the um, to the article of, of the news. And you can have also have it there you know on the side you can print it uh well it's simple but it's it can be useful uh so you can also you know uh access uh using the continental filter description so if you click for africa for example you will have uh all the university located in africa uh you can have also you can you know um, have a diaporama of all the member you know, registered on the on the platform. So you have the Boston College, you have the Pontificia Universidad Católica de, del Peru, you have Assumption University, uh, and a different kind of uh, institution. And you just have to to click on the on the pictures like that, and then you arrive directly to the to the form to the presentation of uh, of the university. It's very really simple. And then uh, you can access here to the university website. And I was talking about that before. Uh, you can contact the university directly. You write your name and surname, your email, you know, the, the topic you want to, uh, the topic uh, related to your message. And then you write down your, your message and you send it. Um, it's uh, it's very uh, very simple, and this section of the main page is related, you know, for call uh, for collaboration. As I said uh, previously, you can share, uh, you know, your proposal or your request for collaboration, and uh, they will be classified in uh, six uh, terms. The first one is about uh, if your request is regarding internalization or mobility. It means you're looking for partners. Uh, the second one is about education and pedagogy. It's it's about if you have an education, educational or pedagogical um, project that you would like to build with another university. You can also propose a research and development project if you would like to build a research, to launch a research project and you need, uh, for the, for example, for the field work to have a partner in a specific uh, geographical area, you can, uh, you can post uh, a request in this section. Uh, and also uh, you can, uh, uh, of course, um, uh, I'm thinking about our colleague in Lebanon. Uh, you can also uh, post uh, or reply to a call for solidarity uh, post by your university. We have, for example, some university which are quite new and uh, they are looking for uh, uh, access to virtual library. We know that in our network, several universities have a huge and large uh, virtual library and they, regarding their development policies, they need to have access to uh, other uh, library, online library for the students. That can be also uh, the good uh, uh, space, you know, to share this kind of needs or to reply to this kind of request. Uh, for example, we know that some our university needs, you know, some material support or they need very simply some books. So they can also use this uh, this space for collaboration in order to uh, launch a call, make a call uh, regarding the need that uh, they have and other university, I will say can you know have access to this information and you know uh, uh, reply to this uh, to this request and uh, uh, say that uh, we can help you as a, as institution a member of FQ like our university and we can maybe send you some books or uh, try to uh, find an agreement in order 
to help your, stu your student to have access to our virtual library. There are a lot of possibilities. For example, also we know that from, uh, from new uh, university, young university, I would say, there is a need of foreign uh, professors who are able you know, to spend three, one semester or some months there in order you know, to be an invited professor or to give some, um, some calls. It can be also uh, regarding, as this example of, of this university, uh, she, they need, for example, a financial expert. An expert uh, who have some experience in regarding you know, financial topic related to university management. That can be also very. Uh, that can be also a collaboration between two university. I would say one big and all university who have a lot of experience in the in management. That can send, you know, for example, uh, her financial director or someone from the financial team, you know, um, to help this uh, young university in order to, you know, build uh, capacity on this topic. There is a lot of possibilities. For example, also, uh, we are talking about international policy uh, strategy. Some universities um, have a big desire to develop some international, uh, their own international strategy, but they are uh, lacking some experience. So that also can be a good opportunity for them, you know, to use a platform and to make known, you know, to make known the need they, they, they have. And for the other, I would say, uh, who have uh, more experience, more expertise regarding the topic of, I was talking about financial aspect, but how to build a, um, an internationalization strategy, uh, or to attract you know, foreign students, or how to send our students uh, abroad, or do we think you know, uh, this, uh, this strategy, that can be also the, the right place uh, for that. So, I hope it's, uh, it's not my, uh, my presentation is not too long. Uh, anyway, if you have any question regarding the, the platform or if you want a personalized presentation uh, regarding to the use uh, of this platform, don't hesitate to uh, contact uh, me and my colleague Loïc.